Hey guys, welcome back to another Guilt Wars 2 video and another AFK farming video response. And of course, before I even get into it, please like the video so it'll counter out all the dislikes that it's going to get again. Uh, yeah, so let's get started to the video, all right? And so I do receive a lot of comments, negative comments about AFK farming, at least for my videos about AFK farming. But I just want to point out that I do not condone macros, third party programs, bots and all that stuff. I've never used bots in this game. I've never used macros in this game. I've always followed whatever the terms of service they have over there. So let's just point out I don't cheat in this game. So most of the time when I'm doing this farm, AFK farm or idle farming, I am attentive. I am there. So 12 hours or whatever a day, I am there looking at the screen, using my tarots, uh, albeit on Necromancer, I'm still looking at the screen. I am never away from my computer as I do this farm. So that goes for a lot of people who are engineers. And I can't say too much about Necromancers, but um, I do know there has been a lot of engineers farming this area and most likely they are not using bots or macros because most of the time when I see GM moves these guys, even myself, we're all able to go back and then we talk a few times and you know and then we just go on and doing our homework and then watching Netflix but we are still there paying attention to the game. We're not completely 100% AFK. I know I call it an AFK farm but Technically, it's not really. I just call it AFK farm because it does grab people attention. And you know, which one would you rather watch a video of the best idol farm or the best AFK farm? You know, the title is always the thing that grabs people attention. So I got to make it more interesting if I said AFK. So that's why I call it AFK. But I am not breaking any TOS rules or anything like that because I'm just using whatever the game mechanics are there so just to be clear you know <laughs> fully afk is not good it's not what you should do if you are fully afk yes you deserve to get banned because if you're fully afk that just means that the chance of you using a third party program such as clickers and macros and all that stuff to help you farm while you sleep while you go out and have fun and then you come back and look at your screen and you're still farming that I do not condone and that should be a bannable, bannable offense. So I think everybody can agree about that. But when it comes to just farming in terms of you still being actively there, controlling your characters, uh, using your tarots and stuff like that, it's not hard to re-summon your tarots every five minutes. You don't need a macro for that. You don't need a timer for that. You look at your screen, your, your Guild Wars 2 is on your screen Whenever your turrets are destroyed, it goes on cooldown around 15, 16 seconds. You already see it. So every time, you know, it resets back to zero seconds, you just resummon it. You don't need a macro. You don't need to time it. Every time you see your turrets on cooldown, it's easy to just resummon it after those cooldowns go away. So whoever is making the accusation that, you know, people are perfectly timing their turrets every single five minutes, it has to be a macro or it has to be a bot. No, that's not true. I, I perfectly tie my tarots all the time and I don't use any of those things. Let's get right into this post over here about the domain of Istan Farm and uh, how this guy is able to grab a lot of people's attention on Reddit. So it has 122 upvotes right now. And uh, apparently, if you describe how to do the AFK farm, but then on the follow up thing, you say it's a bad thing, people will upvote it. But if you describe the AFK farm without saying anything bad about it, people will downvote it. So I don't know how Reddit works, but let's go, let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna link this post down below. You can uh, read up about it and he'll teach you different characters, different types of characters you can do to AFK farm in this spot. And then he goes and counters it by how, how you can not make these kind of characters AFK farm in this spot. But the most important thing is how to use these characters to AFK farm in this spot because who in their right mind is gonna mess around with these AFKers when these AFKers don't even mind if you do it a couple of times but you're just wasting your time actively trying to mess with these AFKers while these AFKers are just laughing at you because they're like, okay, I'll just, you know, wait until you're gone. It's really on the person wasting their time when they're trying to disrupt the AFK farmer. 
But uh, to each their own. If you want to disrupt the AFK farmer, you can. If you don't, then you don't need to. I'm not saying that you should or shouldn't or whatever. I'm just I'm just giving you the full details of the the two sides here. Like if you're an AFK farmer, like would you care if anyone's disrupting you or you just kind of just wait it out? Like okay, you can bring your dragon hunter. You can bring whatever characters you want to to kill the mobs faster and the afk farmer won't get any loot but how long can you do that actively compared to how long an afk farmer can just stand there so let's go back to this post over here as he describes how to do the afk farm i don't understand why uh reddit would upvote something like this when he describes exactly how to do it but so there there is one thing that he is uninformed about during this afk farm now he says over here uh by giving these afk farm permanent stuff or killing the npcs before they can hit the minions the necromancer minions will never attack and this afk or no that's so what he said here this line over here is completely false whether your minions get attacked or not attacked the necromancers will be kicked for inactivity after 55 min or after an hour like the in-game inactivity kick that anyone would get kicked of if they are afk more than one hour so your minions do not stop you from getting kicked your auto attacks does not stop you from getting kicked and so whatever you try to do to get this necromancer kicked is not going to be caused by what you are doing to disrupt the necromancer so i just want to be clear about that so this guy is also is is right about this engineer stuff he says that yes turrets do refresh every five minutes but it is evident that if you are using macros or bots or anything like that, when, when the Iboga pulls you away and you're still summoning turrets. So at that point, yes, that person would deserve a ban, a permaban, a kick or, you know, whatever Anet wishes to do with them. So we go over here and says, um, unintended gameplay is prohibited in Guild Wars 2. This includes the use of auto casting ability to farm while not at your computer but you are at your computer or not actively playing the game, but you are actively playing a game because you're summoning your turrets. You're moving away from the spot where the GM teleports you. So you're actually actively paying attention to the game. So that takes that out. The use of macros, of course, we discussed this. You cannot use macros in AFK farm or any third party program. Otherwise you do deserve a kick. And of course, there are even more problems in this game other than this, this domain of Istan AFK farm just like this guy pointed out over here while you're uh, while you are worried about AFK farming in with bots injecting 50k gold per day on the game with illegal software and what about bots farming black line keys with teleporters on dragon stand you can almost get 50 keys per day and farm skins AFK farm is the minor problem of this game I agree and uh, there are a lot of bots in SPVP farming, you know, tournaments and stuff like that. There has been problems there. So this AFK farm is the least of Anet's problem. They should address something that is more lucrative, like the PVP bots, the key farming bots, the SW bots that this guy mentioned, the the Dragonstorm bots, or the 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 AFK farming for dragon storm dragon stand dragon whatever there's a lot of afk spots out there that is more that is more disrupting to the game than this spot over here okay guys so in conclusion again i do not condone third party programs or the use of fully afk so if you go to sleep you go outside shopping and stuff like that while your game is still in use that is a bannable offense if you are still at your computer looking at your screen refreshing turrets and moving when the gm tells you to move uh then you are oh you're in the clear but remember do not use any third party program do not use macros do not do anything that would warrant you uh that you that looks like you're away from your computer and so yeah i i also don't condone that so that's all i have for this video and uh if you guys could just like the video so that you know it counters all the bad likes that are out there that is going to probably dislike this video to oblivion again because every single if game farm i made uh for a video it has always been a 50 50 kind of you know tug of war so yeah anyways i hope this cleared it up i again like i don't condone third party program or macros or anything like that or botting and all that stuff because you know that is that's cheating and i don't like cheating and uh so yeah guys 
if you have any other questions or anything like that again i will link this down below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye